Hello everyone, this is Athreya. Welcome to our channel Code Chef. Today we are going to be solving the problem Chef and Typing, which appeared in the Snackdown Round 1A of 2019. The difficulty level of this problem is cakewalk, and we just need some basic implementation knowledge in order to solve this problem. So let's get started with reading the problem statement. Here is given that Chef is practicing his typing skills since his current speed is very low. So he uses some training application for this purpose. The main thing we need to note here is that Chef takes 0.2 seconds to type the first character of each word. For every other character of the word, he takes 0.2 seconds to type this if the character is written in a different hand than the previous character. So this part is very important to understand. So he is saying that if the hand he uses to write the current character is different than the hand he used to write the previous character, then he will take 0.2 seconds. Otherwise, he will take 0.4 seconds if the current character is written with the same hand as what he used to write the previous character. So again, I'll repeat this part. It is written that 0.2 seconds he will always take to write the first character. No matter what to write this first character, he will always take 0.2 seconds. For every other character, he will take 0.2 seconds if the hand he uses to write the current character is different than the hand he used to write the previous character. Otherwise, it will be 0.4 if the current character hand is same as the previous character hand. That is the hand he used to write the previous character. So this is what it says. It's written that since he was practicing in the easy mode, the chef has the characters D, F, J and K. The characters D and F are written using the left hand while the characters J and K are written using the right hand. So we also know the four characters and now we know which characters are written using which hand. So now uh, we can use these to compute the units of time that it takes for chef to write a particular word. So don't worry, we will just look at the uh, sample input to make this clear. So let us look at the sample case provided. Here a, a T is 1, that is one test case provided, N is 5. N is 5 means there's 5 strings or 5 words that will be provided to us. Let us look at this step by step. Just before looking at that, look at the right side. D and F. D and F characters are written using left hand. J and K are written using the right hand. I've just written this on the, uh, you know, here so that you have a reference that we, you can uh, look at uh, while we are computing this for every word. So let us look at the first character. Now the first character is F, but no matter what the first character is of any word, Chef will always take two units of time to write the first character. So this is two. So now let us look at the second character. So what we're going to do is for every character in the string, we will look at, for, so for example, we are at the ith position and the ith character, we will see which hand Chef uses to write the current character. Then we will see which hand Chef used to write the previous character. If these both are same, we know that four. We need to add four units of time. Otherwise, we know that we need to add two units of time. So let us see now. Now the first character F was written using the left hand. Hand. The second character D is also written using the left hand. Hence for D, the value is 4 plus 4 is added. Now let, let, let us look at the third character. Now J. So we are at this third position and we're looking at the character J. J is written using the right hand. Now what hand did Chef use to write the left, uh, the previous character D? Previous character D was written using the left hand. So hence plus two will be added here. So let us look at the fourth character. So the fourth character is K. K was written using the right hand. So which hand did Chef use to write the previous character J? J was also use, uh, written using the uh, right hand. So plus four. So let us look at the last character D here. Last character D was written using the left hand and the previous character K was written using the right hand. So different hands, that's why plus two. So for the first word, two plus four plus two plus four plus two equal to 14. 14 units of time are taken by Chef in order to write the first word. Let us look at the second word. So again, the starting character, no matter what it is, always Jeff will take two units of time. So that is constant, two units of time. Now let us look at the next character. The next character is F here. The next character is F. So F is written using the left hand. So the previous character 
D was written also using the left hand. That is why corresponding to F, we have added plus 4 here. Let us look at the next character J. So now we are looking at J. J was written using the right hand while the previous character F was written using the left hand. So corresponding to J, plus 2 is added. Now let us look at the next character D. We are looking at the character D. D was written using the left hand while the previous character J was written using the right hand. So corresponding to D, plus 2 is added. Let us look at the last character K. K was written using the right hand while the previous character D was written using the left hand. Hence plus 2 is added and 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equal to 12. Let us look at the third word. So the character at the first position is D and always plus 2 will be added for this. Let us look at the character at the second position F. We are looking at F now. So corresponding to F. I mean F is written using the left hand while the previous character to F which was D was also written using the left hand hence plus 4 is added. Let us look at the third character. Now we are looking at D. So the current character what we are looking at this D. D was written using the left hand while the previous character F was also written using the left hand hence we do plus 4 that is 10. Now this is a very impo uh, interesting case. Now you see that these two words are the same basically F, D, J, K, D. These two words are composed of the same characters F, J, D, K and F, D, J, K and D. Sorry, F, D, J, K and D. These two are composed of the same characters. If you look at the problem statement uh, above, it says that if a word has already appeared during practice, Jeff can type it in half the time. It took him to type this word for the first time. So that is why it's very important to read the problem statement correctly as this word F D J K D was already encountered before and the first time we wrote this word it took us 14 units of time. The second time when we write this word it will only take us 7 units of time here. That is why 7 is here. So we don't need to compute it again character by character. We already know that uh, this word when we encountered it for the first time we took 14 units of time. Hence now it will take us 7 units of time. Now let us look at the next word. Now K. K basically is the first character so always 2 will be added 2 units of time. The second character is K. So the second character K was written using the right hand while the previous character K was also written using the right hand hence plus 4 is added. Now let us look at the next character J. Now the we are looking at J now and J was written using the right hand while the previous character K was also written using the right hand hence plus 4 is added. Let us look at the character J now, which is in the fourth position. We're looking at this J now. So for this J, it was written using the right hand, while the previous character J was also uh, written using the right hand. Hence, plus four is added here. Now let us look at the last character K. For the last character K, we are looking at last character K. K was written using the right hand, while the previous character J was also uh, written using the right hand. Hence, plus four is added, and two plus four plus four plus four becomes 18. Now when we add all of this 14 plus 12 plus 10 plus 7 plus 18 we get 61 which is the answer to this test case that is provided to us. There are a few things that you need to note for this problem and the first thing is that the first character when we're computing it for a given word that we encounter for the first time the first character will always take two units of time. When the same word is encountered again instead of uh, computing the time taken to write that word again, we'll just see in what time did we uh, write that word in the first time and then we divide that by two like how we did here for this word for this word when we encountered it for the first time we took 14 units of time right here so that is why when we encountered it again we just divided that by two and now it takes seven units of time that is the second thing we need to note the third thing an important thing that we used to compute the time units taken to write each word was for every character we are processing we will check which hand did Jeff use to write the current character? Now, we will also see which hand did he use to write the previous character. If the current character and the previous character were written using the same hand, we will add 4 units of time. Otherwise, if the current character and the previous character were written using different hands, then we will add two units of time. So these are just the main important and simple cases that we need to understand in order to implement this problem. So now I would like you to pause this video for a couple of seconds and give a thought on how you want to approach this problem. 
So my approach is as follows. We can keep a map here to keep track of the words that we have encountered so far. Because when the same word is encountered again, we can just see what was the answer for the word previously, divide by two and add it to our total answer. So what I'm doing is for every word, I'm trying to compute the time units. That is the time taken to write each word. We also always know that the first character always will take two units of time. And then the other thing we need to notice when we process character by character, if hand differs, that is, if the hand used to write the current character is different than the hand used to write the previous character, we need to add two. Otherwise, we need to add four. If the same word is encountered again, it takes half the time. So this is the approach, simple approach that we can use to solve this problem. Now let us look at the implementation so that you get super clear about the approach here. Now let us look at the code for this approach that we had just discussed. Here I'm taking the number of test cases T as input and then I'm defining a map. So why is this map defined? It is defined to keep track of whether we are encountering a word for the first time or we have already seen that word before. Then I'm inputting n which is the number of strings or the number of words that we have to take input and I'm declaring a variable answer to store the overall answer. So let's get into the code. Here I'm inputting the current string s and first I'm checking have I already encountered this string s before? Is it present in my map? If my, this string is already present and I have encountered it before, it means that I need to add the previous answer that is basically the amount of time units that it takes to type this word for the first time. I need to half that and I need to add that to my overall answer. Because remember whenever we encounter the same word again, we just add the uh, time taken to type that word for the first time divided by two to our overall answer. It takes half the time to type a word again if it's already encountered before. So that's why we do this. Now on the else part, we declare an array and this hand array is basically to keep track of which characters are typed using which hand. D and F have the value one, which denotes that they have been typed using the left hand. J and K uh, characters have the value two, denoting that they are typed using the right hand. This is just an easy way to keep track of, uh, you know, which characters are typed using which hands. One thing to note is some people get confused and they declare this hand array to be four. And if we declare the hand array to be four, this assignment like this will not work because what happens internally is that it gets converted to its ASCII code and gets stored back. If you remember the ASCII codes for the lowercase characters range from 97 to 122. So if the hand array size is four, the available indices will be zero, one, two, three, and there's no way we're storing the ASCII characters 97 to 122 in that representation. So here we're just uh, declaring a large value 256, the ASCII max here, and then we're defining which characters are stored in which hands here. Then we're taking the length of the string variable S, that is the length of the word. And for every character in the word, we do this. First, if it's the first character, we know that always we need to add two units of time because always the first character will take two units of time to be written. Else, if the hand used to type or write the ith character or the current character is same as the hand used to type the previous character, hand used to write the previous character, then we add four to our current answer. That is the current word variable here, what it does is basically stores the uh, amount of time units that takes to type the current word. That is, we are looking at this word S here. S denotes the word we are currently looking at. Current word denotes the time taken to write that word S. So if I equal to zero denoting the first character, we know that we need to add two units of time. Otherwise, if the hand used to write the current character is same as the hand used to write the previous uh, uh, character, then we need to add four units of time. Otherwise, we add two. Otherwise, why we add two is because then if it's not one of these two cases, the else condition is only evaluated when the hand used to write the current character is different than the hand used to write the previous character. That is why it's plus two. Now, uh, after we compute current word, we have the answer to how many units of time will it take for us to write the current word. Then we add this to our overall answer. Now we also need to store that for this current word S, it took 
current word variable uh, units of time to write this word. Why do we store this in the map? This is because whenever this word or string s is encountered again, we, this condition has to get evaluated and we need to add half the time. How will we add half the time if we don't even store what is the time units taking to write a particular word? So that is why below what we do is after we compute the amount of time units taken to type the current word, we also store that hey for this uh, string or word s it took us this much time to write that word for the first time we store this at the end of all this we just output our answer so if i run this for the sample input that is given we need to get 61 as our answer so let us look if this works so this uh, was run and now 61 is our answer so this is the approach that we just discussed hope that is clear